All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, back again uh, Monday morning, uh, another day for potential uh, strong to severe storms. Uh, I can see the whole area um, from eastern Georgia into central and northern South Carolina is in another slight risk today for, I believe, the fourth day in a row, where part of the area has been in a slight risk. Um, today is looking uh, fairly confident um, in terms of how we think things are going to progress, uh, expecting some isolated strong storms that kind of start by early afternoon, so kind of really anytime after 12. Those are most likely to start down the CSRA and then kind of move into the Central Midlands. I'm not expecting these to be severe, just a couple kind of classic summer pop-up storms um, early this afternoon. But then we're expecting more widespread and uh, possibly severe storms, probably from about 3 p.m. Um, continuing into the evening. And again, they're gonna start kind of across Georgia and then move into our area. Um, so these would, First move into the CSRA, then kind of up the I-20 corridor into the Central Midlands and up into the PD uh, later this evening. Uh, main threat again today, like it's been the last few days, is going to be damaging winds. Uh, could have a little bit of hail, kind of like we saw yesterday. Um, again, tree and power line damage are kind of the primary concern here. Um, and I will say, I guess we've had you know, quite a bit of wind uh, and rain now the last like three days, so it could be some hanging trees and things like that. Um, that could come down a little bit easier, even with sub-severe wind gusts, um, so something to keep in mind. Um, overall, the forecast challenges is, is mainly how much do we destabilize this morning with heating and things like that. Um, if we get into the upper 80s or low 90s um, by early afternoon, that's going to increase the severe potential. And then just how much those scattered storms that occur early this afternoon, um, how much do they overspread the area and then potential limit instability um, for later this evening. So just want to go back here, take a look at the current um, infrared satellite loop with the 500 millibar heights on there. So you can see the big low pressure system that's kind of moving down into the Great Lakes. And this has been moving very slowly. Um, it's what we call like an occluded or cut off low at this point, and it has not been moving very fast. Um, and we've been kind of sitting in a favorable region from a, a synoptic scale standpoint um, for severe weather now the last few days. Uh, and that's going to be the case again today. There's a, a very strong mesoscale convective system across North Texas last night um, associated with kind of the next piece of energy in this pattern that's going to move across our area this afternoon. And just looking at the, uh, the HER, which has been doing a pretty good job capturing the depiction for these types of events the last few days, uh, showing that really strong MCS across Texas associated with this next piece of energy coming through and then developing some scattered convection across our area early this afternoon, and then more widespread convection this evening with that potential for some more organized sections. Um, overall, these storms popping up this afternoon are in a, a relatively poor environment for severe weather. Um, it's very moist. There's not a lot of dry air that helps mix down some of those stronger winds. Um, but by this evening, uh, the wind shear tends to increase um, and the, the winds in general from kind of the mid to upper levels increase a bit, which will help organize these systems a little bit more uh, and create some of those like Boeing segments um, and more organized pieces of convection that we uh, more associate with damaging wind gusts. So overall, that's the thinking uh, for today, kind of a increasing risk for severe weather as we move throughout the afternoon. Uh, if you have any questions, we'll be here. Thanks.